Kilauea, a restless giant lurking on Hawaii's Big Island, has long been the source of fascination and fear. Known as one of the most active volcanoes on Earth, its deceptively gentle slopes have hidden the catastrophic power of lying beneath. For decades, Kilauea's frequent eruptions have seemed almost predictable, effusive lava flows slowly carving new paths across the island. But recent events suggest something far more dangerous could be brewing deep within the Earth. In 2018, a massive eruption obliterated homes and reshaped the land in ways unseen for generations. With Kilauea stirring once more in 2023 and more recently in September 2024, scientists are closely watching for signs of a bigger, more explosive event that could unfold. Could the growing seismic tremors and increasing deformation around the volcano's summit be precursors to a catastrophic eruption? Join us today as we delve into the destructive nature of Kilauea Volcano and what to expect in the near future. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Kilauea is the youngest volcano in Hawaii's Big Island and it is one of the world's most active volcanoes that has been erupting almost continuously since 1983. Kilauea is the smaller, younger sibling to Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano. Kilauea first formed underwater roughly 280,000 years ago, and it is considered to be a fairly typical shield volcano, a type of volcano named for its low profile, resembling the shape of a warrior's shield. Over time, the volcano's 4,090-foot summit has collapsed to form a caldera, a broad shallow depression nearly 3 miles long and 2 miles wide with an area of more than 4 square miles. The Halimomawa Crater is Kilauea's most active vent. Halimomawa is the legendary home of Pele, the Hawaiian fire goddess. Most of Kilauea's eruptions tend to not be destructive and are contained within the crater but the eruption in 2018 caused large slow-moving lava flows throughout the nearby Puna district that eventually destroyed more than 700 homes over four months. The eruption occurred several hours after powerful earthquakes rattled the Big Island. The summit area of the park was dramatically changed by tens of thousands of earthquakes, towering ash plumes, and a massive collapse of the Kilauea caldera. Before and after photos taken of the volcano show the massive area that sank within the summit. Following the devastating eruption, the United States Geological Survey's National Volcanic Threat Assessment gave Kilauea an overall threat score of 263, and ranked it first among volcanoes in the United States most likely to threaten lives and infrastructure. There was concern that the presence of a water lake in Halamalawa following the 2018 summit collapse meant that Kilauea's next summit eruption might be explosive if magma rose rapidly to the surface. But when Kilauea erupted again in December 2020, it was non-explosive in nature. Between 2020 and 2023, Kilauea erupted four times. In May 2023, Kilauea was beginning to send some clues, as it showed heightened unrest. First, the angle of the volcano began to swell quite dramatically. Then earthquake activity began to pick up. But that was not enough to signal that an eruption was imminent. Then suddenly, the earthquakes increased and the swelling grew. The observatory recorded a rapid fire of low and high frequency quakes typically meaning that the magma was cracking its way to the surface, and finally the eruption began. More recently, Kilauea erupted again in September 2024. Lava began flowing from a new fissure vent that opened from east to west within the volcano's Napawu crater early morning on the 17th of September. Several lava fountains about 32 feet high and pools of lava on the floor of the crater were observed by helicopters flying over the eruption. The USGS noted that the eruption was preceded by a sequence of below-ground earthquakes. About 17 earthquakes were detected beneath the Kilauea summit region between the 16th and 17th of September. The earthquakes occurred at depths between 0.6 and 1.9 miles below the ground surface. The USGS issued a volcano watch, known as a Code Orange, 
which means that an eruption is either likely or occurring but with no or minor ash. So far there has been no immediate threat to life or infrastructure. Although there is no threat to life or property now, the situation can change suddenly. The USGS said hazards remain around the Kilauea caldera from the instability of the Halima Mawa crater wall. Additional ground cracking and outbreaks of lava around the active fissures are possible at any time, or existing fissures can be reactivated. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory noted that each phase of the eruption increased in volume compared to the one prior. They say additional eruptions, if there are any in the upcoming days, might continue to increase in size as well. The USGS said multi-day fissure eruptions are not unusual, and current eruptive activity appears to be linked to the continuing supply of magma from the summit. The USGS warned that lava flows from the fissures could destroy everything in their paths. But this time around, the main concern of Kilauea's eruption is not lava, but volcanic gas. Officials warned that high levels of volcanic smog known as VOG from the eruption could travel downwind and potentially affect air quality. The smog is primarily made of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide, and it appears when volcanic gas mixes with the atmosphere. It has the potential to cause health hazards in people and livestock and damage crops. Officials also added that the eruption may sprout off thin sharp glass fibers called Pele's hair, named after Pele, the Hawaiian goddess of fire and volcanoes. Resembling golden straws of hay, the strands are formed when gas bubbles in the lava pop at the surface and then cool into gossamer glass needles. If Pele's hair is blown downwind, it could irritate people's eyes and skin or contaminate drinking water. Inhaling these tiny slivers of glass can inflame and irritate anything that comes in contact with it. For now, scientists and emergency officials are continuing to monitor the area for any signs of renewed activity. To understand the potential for a larger eruption at Kilauea, it is essential to consider the various factors that contribute to volcanic activity. One of the most critical factors in determining the size and intensity of an eruption is the supply of magma to the volcano. Kilauea is fed by a mantle plume, which provides a continuous supply of magma to the volcano's magma chamber. When the magma supply is high, pressure builds up within the magma chamber, increasing the likelihood of an eruption. In recent years, the magma supply to Kilauea has remained relatively constant, but the draining of the lava lake during the 2018 eruption suggests that the magma system is more complex than previously thought. The collapse of the summit caldera may have created new pathways for magma to move through the volcano, potentially increasing the likelihood of future eruptions. The structural integrity of Kilauea's summit caldera is another important factor in determining the potential for a larger eruption. The collapse of the caldera in 2018 reduced the pressure within the magma chamber and allowed for the release of a large amount of magma. However, this collapse also weakened the overall structure of the caldera. If the caldera were to collapse further, it could trigger a massive release of magma, leading to a much larger eruption than has been seen in recent years. This scenario is similar to what occurred during the 1790 eruption of Kilauea, which was one of the largest and most explosive eruptions in the volcano's history. The likelihood of such an event is difficult to predict, but the continued deformation of the summit area suggests that the potential for further collapse remains a concern. The movement of tectonic plates also plays a role in the behavior of Kilauea. The Hawaiian Islands are located on the Pacific Plate, which is slowly moving over the volcanic hotspot that feeds Kilauea. This movement can create stress within the Earth's crust, leading to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. In fact, many of Kilauea's eruptions are preceded by an increase in seismic activity, as the movement of magma within the volcano causes the ground to shift. While the overall movement of the Pacific Plate is slow and steady, there are occasional periods of increased tectonic activity, such as during the 2018 eruption when a magnitude 6.9 earthquake struck the island. 
These events can trigger volcanic activity by causing the magma chamber to shift or by opening new fissures for magma to escape. As tectonic activity continues in the region, the potential for future eruptions at Kilauea remains high. Scientists continue to study Kilauea closely, using a variety of tools to monitor the volcano's activity and predict future eruptions. While it is impossible to predict with certainty when or if a larger eruption will occur, the data collected from recent eruptions provides valuable insights into the complex processes that drive volcanic activity at Kilauea. As the volcano continues to evolve, it will remain a critical site for research, offering important lessons about the nature of volcanic activity and the potential for future hazards.